Good morning, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I still feel a bit sick, but it's okay. I have my cat here. Actually, it's my boss cat. Maggie, say hi to the camera. Say good morning. She's such a cutie pie. I'm a cat lady. I love cats. Maybe I'm gonna be one of those old ladies who has like five cats living with her. <laughs> oh, baby girl. I knew my hair was going to start falling down between weeks two and three. So I thought about ways to honor my hair while it was still on my head. I thought about maybe creating different hairstyles for the last days, but I ended up just keeping it natural and just enjoying it the way I was born with it. Thank you. This looks great. Okay, off we go. This... Is the new paradise drink from Starbucks. I like it. It has a citrus flavor. It's really good. Guys, I would like to talk to you a little bit about what happened today. So, I love taking showers and baths. I love it. I'm Brazilian. We take multiple showers actually daily in Brazil because it's always warm and blah blah blah. And even though I moved to Canada and I lived in the US before as well, I, I just continued, you know, I, I basically kept my lifestyle, including the multiple showers and everything. So I always have a shower to start my day. It helps me to wake up, it helps me to just smell smell nice and fresh and have just a great start of the day and this morning for my surprise my hair started falling I was not expecting that for the beginning of my day today I was not um, I felt my scalp I know you guys are gonna ask me if I knew it was coming if I felt it was coming well so let me tell you, I actually felt my scalp a little bit sore yesterday and the day before. But it was very, uh, just a tiny bit and it was mostly just a little part here, uh, right in the front of my head, basically close to the forehead and I didn't really think much of it. Of course, I was expecting my hair to fall since I'm on the chemo treatment. Of course, it's gonna fall. I mean, not every chemo makes your hair fall just to clarify but the medications that i'm taking they do trigger that it's one of the side effects i i had been advised about that before so i knew it was coming at some point and i tried to prepare myself for this moment the best i could also um you guys have seen me here on the channel wearing wigs before including this one that i have on right now um wearing wigs has been pretty much part of my life since 2013 when I moved to the US and I was able to buy one and I loved it so I've been wearing one every now and then um, but I just wasn't expecting my hair to start falling right now honestly I did my first chemotherapy two weeks ago and I was told it would fall between weeks two and three uh, but but I thought that you know what I'm not seeing anything coming out at all yet so I think 
maybe I'll get an extra week or something like that but no it didn't happen that way I thought that my hair was gonna start falling little by little even though I read in other places I saw other people saying that oh the hair comes out in chunks I felt like okay I'm gonna start seeing it shedding a little bit here then a little bit there and then it will really start falling but that didn't happen with me it just happened suddenly at once this morning <laughs> okay so if you guys are going through treatment be aware that this could happen to you as well in the same way it did with me so it might happen that you would have uh, shedding until it really starts falling or it could just start falling like it happened to me in big chunks so I showered each time I pass it my my fingers I ran my fingers through my hair and each time I started combing it I could feel and see the the big chunks of hair coming out um, I got emotional during the shower because of that I cried and it was a bit sad it's one of those moments when reality hits you in the face and you just can't escape it you can't run away you don't have an alternative you just have to deal with it and for me the way I believe I'm gonna deal with it for now is I don't feel like shaving my head yet I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit more maybe after the next shower or the next two showers it's gonna just become impossible and that's when I'm gonna decide to shave it but just right now I feel like I still have a decent amount of hair hair on my head that I can uh, you know play along with it for a tiny bit longer I don't know I just just want to keep my hair the little bit that I have on my head I want to keep it for as long as I can um, and then you know when it really starts looking terrible um, then I'm gonna shave it and whenever I feel like it I'm just gonna rock my bald head and whenever I feel like it I'm gonna wear a wig so you guys might start seeing me here all, all shades of me I mean all different shades of me here um, in the channel with without hair with without wig and it's gonna be my journey for a couple a couple of months now um, I have four months of chemotherapy and because my hair is afro it's curly I and it takes forever to grow I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really a couple of months until it starts growing again it is what it is guys so I'm heading back home now I have a couple of things to get done and I'll check on you guys later if you're going through this experience of losing your hair as well if you're going through treatment if you can relate to this video in any way and even if you don't but you just like me please subscribe to my channel help your girl out uh, I want to achieve my goal of at least a thousand subscribers so please help me out guys and I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you guys are doing well and I hope that I continue doing well through this journey so see you guys soon with my new look <laughs> that's it for now kisses and bye